So, uh, just jumped to cab and we're now on our way to Broadcast Drive, which is Kowin Tong. It's where RTHK Radio 3, the broadcast studios, are based. Um, I'm on my way to see Phil Whelan, who hosts uh, Morning Brew, which is a show that uh, he's been hosting for, oh, 10 to 15 years, I'd say now. 9.30 to uh, 1 o'clock slot. Phil's a great guy, fantastic interviewer, superb broadcaster. Um, He's the guy that uh, originally coined the phrase the Hong Kong visa visa, which I usurped some five years ago as our idea virus. Anyway, uh, every six weeks or so typically I go on uh, at Phil's invitation, have a conversation on, uh, on air with him about uh, immigration issues arising and uh, take uh, questions from uh, listeners who send them in via email. Actually, it's now December, December 14, and uh, for one reason or another, I haven't been to see him since April. Anyway, Phil finally um, kicked my B-U-T-T last week, and we've agreed that I'm going to go see him now. right now. Absolute pleasure to welcome back the one and only Hong Kong visa geezer, Steve Barnes. How are Hello, you? Hello, Phil. It's been ages. I know, you haven't been inviting me, I felt Please. so left out. It's good to see you. So basically, Steve is the absolute expert on all things immigration, perhaps if you've just moved here and you want to bring a partner, and give me the two or three real simple ones that people might join in if they've not heard you before. Um, if you need to take up employment in Hong Kong, you need an employment visa. If you want to establish a business, you need a business investment visa as an entrepreneur. If you're uh, going to join your same-sex partner, which we discussed a lot previously, you need a prolonged visitor visa because, as we've discussed before, dependent visa is not available to same-sex partners. But yeah, those are the kinds of things that uh, we're doing every day. Yeah, and it doesn't matter how simple you think these questions are, he could take the sweat out of your day right now. 